Hey guys, what's up? This is Jinx Rose, and welcome back to Morrowind. When we left off, I was finishing another mission for the Fighters Guild, and before I left that cave, I actually slept. I didn't even think about it, wasn't even thinking about it. I slept, and uh, ended up leveling up my character. So I'm a level 2 now, and halfway up to level 3 already, and my strength went up by 5, so it's at 65, and my speed and endurance went up each by 2, so we're at 42 and 52 now. So, um, I'm going to go turn this mission into the Fighters Guild and see what my next mission is for them before I even try moving on with the main quest. So, Skulk Egg Mine. I already told you how to get there and don't repeat. Egg Poachers. There we go. You get both of them? Good. Here's your payment. 100 Septums. And we get some extra potions from a decent raid. Take these. They'll come in handy. Just tell me when you're ready for more orders. So four, fati four Restore Fatigue potions and 100 gold. That's not bad. We have a contract from the Caldera Mining Company to kill four Telvani agents responsible for trouble at the Caldera Mine. Four thefts and disappearances. Telvani agents. Caldera Ebony Mines. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Today is your lucky day. So, all the way back to Keldera, which we've already been there twice now. Um, <laughs> and it's quite a long walk. I really do wish there was an easier, quicker way to get to Keldera from here. There's not, however. Is anybody looking at me? I don't think so. Let's take that. Taking gold. There's gold in like almost every chest I've opened so far. Almost. So back up to Caldera. We'll get, take care of the mine. And actually, there's a good blacksmith in Caldera too, so it's a good thing I'm going back. I want to replace this two handed weapon so that I can use my block skill. And I'm just gonna like run the run and jump the entire way there. Preferably run. That way I can level up my speed and endurance. Oh, and I was able to level up my athletics quite a bit on the way back from that mine, because I just swam like the whole way back to Balmora. Because swimming helps with athletics a lot, just like jumping helps with acrobatics a lot. <coughs> and once you get athletics and acrobatics really high, things get really fun. You can just like parkour all over the place. Balmora gets fun. Those two giant guard towers, I used to just, just for fun, jump back and forth between the two of them. And it would level up my acrobatics like crazy. The best way to level up your acrobatics is just jumping off of something high. Even if it does damage to you, it'll level up your acrobatics. And then you just gotta rest or heal or something. I don't like all these extra noises, man. I'm like, what is happening? <clears throat> The extra noises from the uh, uh, Better Sounds mod. Sometimes there's just really loud noises that make no sense for the area that you're in. I'm, I'm too used to Morrowind being like really quiet unless there's some monster around you or something. <coughs> anyway. We should get to Gal there soon. And then I'll go ahead and buy a weapon. Um, that'll be my first move. Because I do like this shard axe. I like this two-handed shard axe. But I would really like to have, like to be able to block. So that's important to me. <clears throat> I should do some side missions in Balmora too. Like Remember, Satanine had a bunch of little side missions that you could do. Balmora has the same thing going on. Where is this blacksmith? I always forget. I think he's down here. Yeah, there he is. No, anvil. That anvil looks like crap. <laughs> like, not just rusty and stuff, but I mean, like, it actually just doesn't look good. It doesn't look well designed. <sighs> Alright. Repair. Might as well pay him to repair everything for me. Which is kind of pointless, actually. Sell that. Can't sell them the books. And buy. This axe is 1 to 30. This axe, 1 to 32. This is one handed. And I can always enchant it later to make it really nice. 1 to 20 or 1 to 30? 1 to 30 every time. 
Fo sheezy. Alright, then I can sell this one. And I'll pay him twenty-eight. Awesome. Sweet. So on to the Caldera mine. I never remember how to get there. I think it's over this way. Yeah, it's over this way. Pretty sure. <coughs> or I could be wrong. There's another um <laughs> I never remember these words. There's another tomb. I'll go check out the tomb. This isn't a magic weapon though, so I'm probably screwed. Oh, come on. Stop paralyzing me. Douche. Douche. Come on. There we go. <laughs> you always want to make sure your fatigue is high. I cannot stress that enough. I always run around everywhere because otherwise this let's play would get really boring. And it'd be really slow. It's already kind of slow enough as is, so... Scroll of Mana Rape. It's a great name. Mana Rape. <coughs> Scroll of Selen's Miss Slippers Water Walking. Nice. That's pretty sweet. Scroll Spark Bolt Ring. I'm going to switch to that Spark Bolt Ring right now. Because it's like the only thing I have that can deal damage to ghosts. So yeah. If I run into a ghost, I'll have a way to damage him. Might take forever to kill him. Oh hey, you come here. Come here, scamp. Come here, scamp. Hey buddy. Oh man, my weapon has no effect. Holy crap. Really? I didn't know he was the same way. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna kill me. Oh, I'm gonna die. No, forget you, scamp. I did not know that. <laughs> I did not know that. Maybe I should have kept my weapon, my other weapon, just in cases like this. Uh, domination, mana rape, miss slippers, vitality. That's I don't even have any scrolls that will damage this guy, so I'm I'm getting out of here for now. Yeah, I saw the scamp. I'm like, oh, I can kill a scamp. He's not a ghost. Apparently not. So I need to enchant this weapon like as soon as possible. Where is... Let's go back to Caldera. <coughs> Let's get inside of Caldera and see if I can find the way to the mine from there. What is attacking me? Oh, crap. Kagutis? I don't like those things. <coughs> I don't remember where the mine is. This might be a way to the mine. Let's see. Let's look at the sign. Yes, look at the signs. Caldera Mining Company, yeah. There we go. <coughs> I'm gonna walk for a little while and raise my fatigue, guys. And it's gonna get boring. This axe swings weird too, side to side. I can't imagine that being very effective. Like up and down, same way you cut wood. That's that that's what I would imagine would be effective. But this weapon swings sideways. The other axe was doing an up and down motion, but uh <laughs> before I set it to always do best attack, it would like push forward, I guess to throw the enemy off guard or something. I have no idea. <coughs> Where's the road? lost it. There it is. Okay. Oh, this is the guy. I think I might have talked about this guy to you guys already. This is the naked barbarian. A witch trapped him here. You're on your honor. Don't press your luck. A uh, festering witch. A witch she had to be. I was on my way to Caldera when I met her. She was a stranger here like myself, and our conversation lightened the burden of travel. She was quite friendly, and, well, you know, 
We set up camp together. But that night she revealed the witch inside, cast a spell on me. I couldn't so much as blink, stole everything, even my worn-out clothes. But most importantly, she took my prized axe, Cloud Cleaver. Join with me, stranger, and let's find her and extract her entrails together. I will help you find her. Okay, so this isn't the guy who's paralyzed. Um, how do I find her, dude? How do I... Where is she going to be? On a... Com as a companion and aid in his search for the witch and his prized axe cloud cleaver, he thinks he met her in a camp to the northwest, but admits he could be confused as to the direction from the spell. So, let's go northwest. I can always come back to Caldera's camp later. You following? Yeah. I don't have any extra equipment to equip him with either. That's the one thing I love about this game. You can have companions. I, they don't really stick around forever like they do in Skyrim. But, yeah. Anyway, Caldera, Balmora. Okay, I think it's going to be this way. Now, who is this guy? Unless this is the witch. In which case, I should take a potion. Are you the witch? There's something not right about you. Maybe you should go. Yes, you interested? Hey there, yes you. Interested in making a deal? Sure. Look, I'm just a poor merchant just trying to make my way to Narmok with some trade goods. I could use an escort though, since mine seems to have buggered off. If you'd be willing to take me there, I'll give you... No, I shouldn't. Although, it is a dangerous trip. Alright, I'll give you these boots of blinding speed, although I'll be overpaying you quite a bit. I can take you to Narmok for your shitty boots of blinding speed. I'm heading in that direction anyway. And these these boots of blinding speed are really, really shitty. Um, you can't see, like, it literally blinds you. You can't see anything. You have to rely on the mini-map to get you where you're going. And it gets really annoying really quickly. Um, hopefully I find that witch soon. If not, I can still make it to Narmok and finish this mission and then come back to Cal. See, this is the problem with games like Morrowind. You get completely freaking sidetracked. Like, I was on a quest and now I'm like, not on a quest anymore. Well, I'm on a quest still. Just not the same quest. Not the quest I started out on. Hopefully I'm going in the right direction to get to Narmok. Let's talk to her. Alright. She's not going to tell me how to get to Narmok, so... And night time's coming again. No, the thing I absolutely love about this game, though, is that you do... You run into people on the on the path. And that just... It doesn't often, often happen... Often have to. Doesn't often happen in, um, in the other Elder Scrolls games. And I love it. Don't go inside. You talk to me. Background. Father's Guild. He's an apprentice of the Blades, which I also will be soon. Uh. Alright. You are no help. <coughs> okay. So, continuing on the path. Eventually I'm going to make it somewhere. To the witch, or to Narmok, or to another mission or something. Eventually. But no, I just, I love running into strangers along the road like this. It's just, it's really cool. It adds to the feeling, and it adds some form of companionship for a short while at least, because the rest of the game feels ridiculously desolate, like you've got no one with you. Narmok. Okay. And I'm pretty sure this guy will stay your companion until you find the witch or until he dies. 
one way or the other, I'm, I'm pretty sure he'll leave you, but until one of those things happens, I'm pretty sure he'll stay your companion. Um, which way is to Narmok? Narmok, okay. Uh, anyway, guys, I think that's all. I think that's gonna be it for now. I think that's all for now. Um, be sure to leave a like and a subscribe and comment if you're interested in doing so and all that good stuff. All that same old, same old. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we will hopefully finish off at least one of these missions and maybe head back to Caldera. Um, where we will continue the Fighter's Guild missions. And now we're entering this crazy area in this jungle. So, alright, I will see you guys in the next one.